before finding um, raw veganism, before finding fasting, before finding everything that we share on the Brennick family. I remember being a very depressive person. <laughs> and I remember being also all about work, somewhat of a workaholic. Most of my emotions were always about trying to be perfect all the time and controlling all of the outcomes at all costs, all the time. And if anything slipped out of what was my sort of full set plan, I would be stressed and sad. And that was just, I didn't know how to deal with it. The first time that I tried um, going for longer without food and without water and focusing on what was there, just being, you know. So I completely disconnected from everything. I just felt like part of nature. So I disconnected from what the matrix is and connected into, you know, what nature is. So I felt that I was really part of a whole. I realized that we don't need as much as we think we do. Um, we actually don't need anything. <laughs> But it's interesting to have um, this sort of connection um, with the food because that's how we connect to other people as well. Um, so when I encountered Panic Family, um, I felt at home straight away. I just have to be part of it. I just have to be with people that believe in the same things or at least not everything, but it's some things that I believe in and that won't discriminate me for what I believe. Um, in my daily life, I try to be as minimalist as possible. So um, even when I'm walking around, I try to do it as barefoot. And if I'm, you know, doing my meditation or if I'm doing any pranayamas or any breathing technique, um, that's my way of connecting with the elements in general. If we understand that we are mostly empty space, we can always nurture that empty space with whatever. That very good phrase of Rumi, right? So there's sweetness to an empty stomach. So I think that's like the perfect phrase for what is pranic living. So whenever you allow yourself to be empty, as you are empty, you have to be empty as well in your stomach and your bowels. When you have those empty, you can think better. You can actually um, grasp very subtle emotions and energies around yourself and you can sift through them. If I want to flow into a positive vibration, I have to nurture that inside myself, not just my mind, but the whole, so all of myself. When I understood that I had to chew my food, I would just connect with it and I would think like positive words to each chew. So I'd be like, okay, good energy. You know, chewing and then adding um, emotions and good emotions to it or just feelings. So that helped me. It's been a dream of mine for a very long time to unite with the people physically in one center, one place that we could practice the same sort of routine or similar routine, not natural, not the same, but similar routines and just be around each other. So this is probably a dream come true. <laughs> yeah.